Hi everybody, uh, just some notes about uh, Mesh Fusion UI changes and additions in uh, 901. As you have likely noticed, the model fusion and tabbed fusion layouts are gone. They are no longer needed. Um, the schematic fusion layout, however, is still available. Uh, but generally fusion modeling can now be done in Moto's standard model layout. And uh, this new Fusion tab in the vertical tabs here provides access to essential Fusion tools. Um, fusion modeling requires specific viewport settings. Uh, if I load a scene into a Moto, a Fusion scene into Moto with its default viewport settings, we get this sort of display, which is not what we're looking for. Uh, but these new Fusion controls contain a button to apply the Fusion-specific viewport settings. Also available are um, the standard modeling viewport settings and the Fusion viewport settings in this pop-up menu found here in the upper left corner of the viewport. In any case, uh, once we've got the uh, Fusion viewport settings in place, your model should look like this. Also note that while the schematic Fusion layout is still available using this tab, um, it's also possible to simply display the schematic in a uh, separate window, a separate palette, using this Open Schematic Palette button. Just a couple of different ways to get to the schematic now. You'll notice that Cubic Mesh presets are no longer uh, part of the layout since this, is, again, is just the standard Moto model layout. Uh, so we've given you access to the cubic geometry using the cubic geometry button here in the new uh, Fusion controls. And that brings up a customized preset browser. This preset browser offers some uh, conveniences for placing your geometry and adding it to your Fusion model. And uh, as before, uh, please note that these are not anything special as far as meshes and any uh, meshes that you create or that come from other sources that are Fusion compatible could be added to the uh, library here and show up in this browser. The browser contains two rows of buttons. Uh, this top row is all about aligning, uh, scaling, and placing your, locating your new mesh relative to a, uh, another mesh selected in the scene. These buttons in the lower row add the selected preset to the scene using the fusion mode specified by the button. So, um, selecting any fusion source mesh uh, to serve as your target mesh before accessing the preset browser uh, gives you the option of referencing that source mesh and its associated fusion item when adding new geometry. So here I'm selecting one of the source meshes and bringing up the special Cubic Preset Browser. There I select the preset mesh that I want and set any desired option. In this case, choosing to center the preset on the target mesh. And then I hit one of the four Boolean uh, application buttons, uh, Union in this case. And we see the preset has been added as a uh, union to the Fusion model centered on the previously selected target mesh. And naturally, all of this is just for convenience. As usual, uh, source meshes may be manipulated any way you wish after they've been added to the Fusion model. So I'll undo that. And just another quick example, this time also choosing to orient the new mesh to the target mesh. And note that the target mesh, in this case, has been rotated in its uh, orientation is more or less in the uh, left to right in the screen uh, coordinates. And uh, one more example, uh, this time using something that only applies to tree-based fusion models. Same procedure, selecting a target mesh, uh, selecting a preset, and this time in addition to centering it on the selected mesh, I'm going to select new branch. And those of you familiar with Fusion know that that's going to apply this only to the selected geometry. I'm using subtract, and indeed you can see that the subtraction only affects the selected mesh, and you can see that in the tree as well. 
Note that you can also take advantage of the uh, alignment and centering options without adding new geometry to the fusion item. Here I'm, I've got align and center selected and I click the no fusion button. Uh, the geometry is added to the scene, aligned and centered, but not fused to the fusion model. Uh, likewise, if you use the more standard methods of uh, accessing the preset browser, like double clicking, that will add the geometry the way any preset browser normally does, uh, just centered in the scene and obviously not fused to anything. So let's look at a couple of additional options with the preset browser. Um, not only can it uh, center on the mesh, but it can center on any arbitrary selection. And it can also be used to scale your new mesh, your preset, relative to the size of the uh, target mesh. We can use any mesh or mesh element selection to position the preset. In this case, I'll be using a single edge. With a selection of multiple uh, edges, uh, vertices, or polygons, their average location would be used. So I select the single edge and bring up the browser. In addition to centering the preset, I want to scale it relative to the target mesh using these controls. This scales the preset relative to the size of the target mesh. More specifically, it scales the maximum dimension of the preset to some percentage of the maximum dimension of the target mesh. So in this example, the maximum dimension of the added cylinder will be 20% of the maximum dimension of the target mesh. This is really just about getting things in the right ballpark. Um, using maximum dimensions, that is something that's easy to perceive, and it, it, it prevents you from uh, bringing in meshes that completely envelop your existing fusion model or uh, get lost because they're so small they're completely absorbed by the existing fusion model. Okay, so then with uh, scaling set and center to selection ticked, we can go ahead and add our mesh centered on that selected edge. Using the averaged location of a number of elements is often convenient. Here, using a, a polygon loop, easily centers the preset on two axes of the uh, target mesh while placing it off-center uh, on the uh, remaining axis. And of course, as mentioned before, all of this is just for uh, convenience. Obviously, you can continue to adjust and relocate uh, meshes after they've been added to the fusion item. And finally, um, note that the uh, Cubic Preset Browser can also be accessed through Fusion's Pi menu, uh, which I think is Control-F, if I remember. All right, thanks.